Hey guys, what is going on? Joker88 here. Well, you guys been asking for this. So we're going to talk about Aptera today. And I did a little bit of research on Aptera. I mean, you know, they've been around for a bit. Uh, the first one, I remember uh, seeing it in the, the, the Jay Leno's garage. Really cool stuff. But, uh, you know, they're, they're trying to bring it back. And this one... Uh, like what they said on their website here it says driven by the power of the sun so they're looking to driving into the future with a 1,000 mile range that gives you the freedom to do more with less impact on the planet Wow I mean it looks amazing you know like with the shape very aerodynamic and I do remember the one that Jay Leno drove. I mean, it looks like a spaceship, right? When he was driving it on the freeway. So they have, you can make your reservations now. And I was watching the Chris, I think he's one of the main guys there at Aptera. And he was talking, he had an update for this month, I believe. And I was watching it. And he says that uh, they're going to be doing another round of funding through their website. And also, uh, they're looking to release this by the end of this year. Wow. I mean, that's, to me, uh, being around like three wheelers and just automotive in general, man, it is, it is hard to launch a vehicle. So, I mean, more power to them, hopefully, that they can meet those targets. So let's look at the specs real quickly. All right, so here we go. We're looking at the product spec sheet. Overall length is going to be 172 inches. The width is going to be 88. Ooh, I like that number. 88 inches. And the height is going to be 57 inches. They even have a cargo space that holds 25 cubic feet. So the performance that they have I think they have one that has like three uh, three motors. So basically all the wheels have motors. And that thing takes off. Zero to 16 in 3.5 seconds. Holy cow. And then on top of that, you have your front wheel drive one, the two motor one. I mean, still, you know, respectable 5.5, uh, zero to 60. And the top speed is like over a hundred miles an hour. Wow, what do you guys think of that? And they even, uh, for safety wise, it's gonna be tested to exceed all the applicable FM, VSS, and NHTSA standards. Wow. So the top model one, the one that has three motors, it's gonna give you approximately, approximately a thousand mile range on a hundred kilowatt. The mid range one, you get 600 on a 60 watt uh, kilowatt hour, and then you have a 400 mile range, and you have a 250 mile range with a 25 uh, kilowatt hour. If I mean, for I guess for like everyday driving, if you're just going to be driving to work or so. I'm thinking the 250 or the 400 mile range would be suffice, but I know there's a lot of you that always like the range, right? The distance. I mean, technically, we, I don't know what you guys do, but you know, right now I'm working from home, so a 25 mile range would be good for me just to get to the store. But, um, Anyways, uh, let's see what's happening here because their main thing is solar. Never charge a solar array. It has like a little three square meters. It produces like 700 watts. Self charges up to 60 uh, kilometers while simply being parked. The solar can be added to Aptera's hood and rear hatch for up to 24 miles of additional free solar charging per day. 24 miles but you can still plug it in right so you can plug it in your regular 110 so 13 miles per hour and 
and then you could do the of course the rapid DC chargers where 500 miles per hour with a rapid DC charger so it's two people plus a pet so there's gonna be like a little small section as you can see right here in the little diagram and then they're gonna have like a, a driver touchscreen 15 inch touchscreen display they have different types of color they have the no more black with black satin body black high gloss pillars and roof you have the luna silver the aluminum satin body and a midnight high gloss pillars and roof and the soul the white one i think that's what they've been showing in a lot of photos has the white satin body with black high gloss roof and pillars and then there's different types of the interior colors they have the vita spicy and energetic with bright coral color accents you have the coast casual and relaxing with inspiring sand and tranquil blue accents and the codex warm and engaging with earth tone accents now how much is all of this going to cost you this is it right so it seems like depending on the range and options you're going to start at twenty-five thousand nine hundred dollars up to forty six thousand dollars plus and then they're trying to deliver here in 2021 and that's this year we are now in mm, the later part of may so at this point if they're trying to deliver at that time man they, they must be working night and day to get all the prototypes and all the beta testing real world testing of that thing I, I wish them luck and I did reach out to Chris or their media department hopefully they'll give me a chance to kind of go out there and check it out and spread the word because they're fairly close to me I mean they're like in San Diego so I can definitely be there and, and, and do like a, a whole show over there for them so let's look at some of their premium features. Yeah, they're gonna have a custom interior, exterior colors to create an terrace that's unique for you. So you can custom your interior and exterior. With also enhanced audio, it gives you an extra three channels of audio for sound depth and deeper bass. If you like the bass, I do. <laughs> it's got safety pilot. Makes travel easy with level two autonomy capabilities. Got uh, this safety divider and accessories to secure your pet while driving. Uh, integrated tent and rear awning for camping and adventures. I mean, you get a thousand miles, right? I mean, you can drive fairly far <laughs> with a thousand miles. And then take up terror off road with more ground clearance and tougher wheel covers. Wow. I mean, it's it it's, looks great on paper. And actually they 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 invited like uh, one of the YouTubers to check out the Aptera and they rode on the prototype and the person that was actually the YouTuber was like, "Wow, this is fast." And they were on the three-wheeler one. Let me show you the video. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's look at the rest of their website real quickly. All right, so they have some videos here of them putting the car together. Checking out the body. So, I mean, they're, they're working hard. I mean, like, look there. I think this is... So it's pretty exciting, I mean, what these guys are doing. It looks like it's gonna have like scissor doors. I like how the lights are set up. The rear, very like Jetsons uh, effect, right? Let's see what else they got here. So there's their touchscreen display. 
kind of like what we're used to with the Tesla Model 3. I mean, like it's really sculpted to cut through the air, you know? So uh, it, it looks it looks pretty cool. I mean, if I got the money to, to spend on something like this, man, it'd be cool to have just, you know, for kind of cruising around. So they have their prototype driving around the streets. That must be pretty interesting to see, right? If you're driving by it. I mean, look at that. I think this is, I think that's Petco Park in San Diego. Hmm. And uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like it's their logo. I think it's the charging port area in the back. A couple more photos here. Here's a front shot. I mean, it looks like an airplane, right? Or like, yeah, it looks like one of those private airplanes. It's pretty cool. It's got like that teardrop shape. And the interior looks pretty nice. Some side shots here. The way you charge it right there. And here's the, the black one, the matte black. The silver. I mean, if I'm gonna get one, I'd probably get the silver. You kinda have that airplane look. Or the sole, the white one's pretty cool too. And they have something on YouTube, you can click on that. They're talking about like they're uh, drawing less than uh, less than 100 watts per mile for everyday driving. So they're saying that it can go five times farther than any other electric vehicle that's out there with the same size a solar system. And this is what they're talking about, adding more solar panels throughout the car to give that extra 24 miles of charging throughout the day. And it looks like they have an easy construction here of the body. And they're saying that it's safe and they're saying that uh, it's going to meet all and surpass uh, NHTSA standards. I mean, it's a three-wheeler, so it's an auto cycle in America. You don't really have to have the crash testing done. So, and uh, these are the guys that's... It's the team that's uh, setting it up. Steve and Chris are making the promise of super efficient vehicles for the real world. Well, I like the I like the vehicle. I like how it looks. I mean, it's so it's so unique and cool. And you know how I like unique things, and that pretty much ticks off all the boxes for me. So, anyways, I hope that they have a uh, you know that the that they that they are successful with what they're doing and and I wish them luck and hopefully they would return my email and give me a chance to take a look at their facility and check out their progress uh, with the with the Aptera. So wow, really cool. Thanks guys for pointing me to Aptera. I, I did know about Aptera, but the last I heard was uh, from the Jay Leno. Uh, Jay Leno's garage episode. I thought that was it bankrupt or whatever but hey they're back here again so thanks for uh, pointing that out to me guys and thanks for watching the video and if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel please give me a chance and just uh, subscribe so you can kind of be up to date with a lot of new things with three-wheeled vehicles like the electromechanica the sam uh, what else is there guys there's I mean there's tons of them out there now <laughs> tons of them out there so anyways i will see you guys in the next video